Today we're going to explore the benefits of R-alpha-lipoic acid and the key differences between this type and S-alpha-lipoic acid. Alpha-lipoic acid, or ALA, is a natural antioxidant that's present in the body and can be found in certain foods such as organ meat, spinach and broccoli. It exists in two forms, namely R-alpha-lipoic acid, or R-ALA, and S-alpha-lipoic acid, or S-ALA. These forms are known as enantiomers, and they have different chemical structures, properties, and potential biological activities. This is ultimately where the R and the S come from. The letters R and S are part of the Kahn ingold prelog, or CIP, notation system, which is used to specify the absolute configuration of chiral centers in molecules. The R stands for rectus, which is Latin for right, and the S stands for sinister, which is Latin for left. This system helps chemists to des designate the absolute configuration of each enantioma in a standardized way. So when we say that R-ALA is a mir mirror image of S-ALA, it's exactly that. It's identical, all except the side on which it's configured. The key difference that this configuration creates between R-ALA and S-ALA lies in their bioavailability and biological activity. R-ALA is a biologically active enantioma. It's readily absorbed and utilized by the body. On the other hand, S-ALA, although it can be absorbed to some extent, it's not as effective as R-ALA in terms of its antioxidant potential. It's a common misconception that R-ALA is natural and S-ALA is synthetic. In fact, both can be natural or synthetic form. Most research and clinical studies have focused on R-ALA due to its superior bioavailability and biological activity compared to S-ALA. R-ALA has been extensively studied for its potential health benefits, particularly in the context of its antioxidant properties and its role in metabolic processes. Some potential benefits of R-ALA include antioxidant activity, R-ALA can neutralize free radicals, which are harmful mo molecules that can damage cells and contribute to aging and various diseases. It can also help with blood sugar control, so it helps to improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism, which can be beneficial for individuals with diabetes or metabolic syndrome. It also helps with neuroprotection. It's shown promise in protecting nerve cells from damage and may have potential applications in neurological conditions. It's also been known to be good for cardiovascular health in that it may help improve blood vessel function and reduce oxidative stress, which can have positive effects on heart health. It also helps with skin health. Some, stu some studies suggest that RALA might have a positive impact on skin aging and skin health. If you'd like specific clinical evidence to support each one of these claims, we've made an earlier video about alpha lipoic acid benefits that we'll link at the end of this video. But this one is primarily about understanding the difference between R-ALA and S-ALA. While there's more evidence supporting the beneficial effects of R-ALA, it's important to note that S-ALA may still have some limited potential benefits. However, when considering alpha lipoic acid supplements or treatments, it's recommended to choose supplements that contain primarily R-ALA. Products that are labeled as racemic alpha lipoic acid contain both R-ALA and S-ALA, but may have lower overall effectiveness. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to also subscribe to our channel so you can be kept up to date with any new health and wellness videos that we post. Thanks for watching.